Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft OneNote provides an equation editor to assist you in entering mathematical equations into your OneNote pages. To enter an equation, first navigate to the page and click in the area where you want to insert the equation. Right now we're in our work notebook, so we'll switch for this demonstration. We'll go up into the notebook header and use the navigation drop-down, and we'll select a school notebook instead. This is a very simple notebook we've created. It just has one section called classes. Over at the right hand side we have some pages that correspond to the different subjects and we're going to go ahead and select algebra because that's where we're going to insert our mathematical equation. Next, click the insert tab in the ribbon. Then look at the far right end of the ribbon in the symbols group and we're looking at the equation tool here and it really has two parts. You'll see if you roll your mouse pointer over it that it will highlight either the upper portion or the lower portion. The upper portion is the button, the lower portion is a drop-down. And right now we want the drop-down, so we'll give that a click. Now after doing that, in the drop-down choices that appear, you can choose from one of the many predefined equations by simply clicking to select it. OneNote will insert the equation into your page, and it will also display the Design Contextual tab up in the ribbon with various equation tools for you to use. From here you can manipulate the equation and make any desired changes using the tools in the ribbon and your keyboard. And you'll remember from math class hopefully that we have symbols and structures and so forth. But one thing I want to draw your attention to is in the symbols group. First, we have some arrows, so we can scroll down and up to view them. But there's also a More button just below that. Give that a click. When you do, you'll see that we have all of the symbols that are available in that particular group that are available to us. In this case, Operators, but there's this drop-down right up at the top. Give that a click, and you can change what's being displayed. Maybe Basic Math, for example, Greek Letters and so forth. So you just use that drop down and they'll change and then you can use these buttons to manipulate your mathematical equation. Now let's go ahead and undo that. We're not going to create one just yet. First I want to show you how to create a blank equation. To do so the process is pretty similar. Click the insert tab in the ribbon. Again down in the symbols group we're looking for equation. We don't want the drop down this time. This time we want the actual button. Give that a click. And you'll see then that OneNote inserts a container and it says type your equation here. So then you use the same tools in the ribbon and your keyboard to just create your equation from scratch. Now finally if you're using a tablet computer you can insert what's called an ink equation instead, and this is a pretty neat feature, where you can handwrite your equation and OneNote will interpret and type the equation for you. To use this feature, with your equation selected, click the Design tab in the ribbon, and then click on the Ink Equation button in the Tools group. You'll see the Tools group right here. Here's the Ink Equation button. Give that a click. Now in the Insert Ink Equation dialog box that appears, write your equation in the area that says Write Math Here. As you do, OneNote will attempt to interpret your writing and type the equation. Now let's go ahead and do this. We'll create a very simple equation. What you'll quickly see is that when you're using this tool, depending on if you're using a stylus or your finger or if you're using the mouse because you can use the mouse as well, this is not a perfect tool that it has to interpret your handwriting and try and figure out what you're trying to write. And that's where the tools at the bottom of this dialog box come in handy. So we'll go ahead and create our equation. like that. Now it's close, but it's not quite right. This is supposed to be a 9, and OneNote thinks it's an A. 
So the buttons at the bottom of the dialog box are the tools that help you complete your written equation. For example, you can click the Erase button down here and then click on a line you drew to erase it. The Select and Correct button right here allows you to click and drag around an area that's not correct. So after I select that, I can click and then drag around an area like this. Now I'm selecting just one element here, but let me show you how to use this tool with more. You can then click like this to make a larger selection, if you like. We'll go ahead and hit Escape because we don't really want to change that. We want to go ahead and add our 9 back in, so we'll click the right button this time. And we'll try it again and see if it'll recognize it. Now it thinks it's a Q. What do we do? The only thing we can do at this point, try again. This time we'll erase what we've written. There we go. Now it's recognized it. So that's how you use these tools down here to manipulate your handwritten equation. Now, when you do make selections as I did, OneNote will offer suggestions for fixing the error for you, which you can click to accept, or you can choose to close as I did and start writing over. Now you can also click the Clear button to clear everything you've written and start over if you like. That's right here. But when you're done and you're happy with what you've created, you just click the Insert button right here to insert the equation right into your page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.